What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Zero Mile ADV, a true beginner's guide to adventure motorcycling from a true beginner's perspective. Today we're going to talk all about why I think Harley Davidson does this one thing better than all other motor motorcycle manufacturers. So stay tuned. <laughs> All right, let's talk about why I think Harley Davidson is the best manufacturer, maybe not dealer, but manufacturer when it comes to this one aspect of the whole motorcycling community and somewhat specifically adventure motorcycling. So if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, all that fun stuff helps to grow the channel and it lets me know that you like it. So I think it's the demo events. The demo events that Harley puts on at the at local dealerships, at motorcycle rallies, I think is just superb. And if you're new to motorcycling, why I think this is really important is that for me, adventure motorcycling is about getting out and having an adventure, right? And when you first get on a motorcycle, I knew for me, and leave me a comment below, let me know how it was for you. But when you first get your license and you get out on the open road and you've kind of given the keys to the road and the government is now trusting you to ride that motorcycle safe, safely, it is an adventure just to go out to the backyard or, you know, drive through your local neighborhood or go some, explore some local back roads in your neighborhood and get a cup of coffee. And, you know, the, the adventure of trying to park the bike and making sure you have the keys and all the right gear. So when you first start, every ride is really an adventure and it doesn't necessarily have to be these big grandiose planned out rides you can just have fun sometimes locally and so how does this tie back to harley davidson as a company well when you go to one of their corporate events they pretty much want you and i say corporate because it's harley davidson the corporation not necessarily the local dealer that does this now i think most dealers if you want to ride a bike and you have a license, they will let you ride it. Although there was a dealer in the front range area of Colorado, of Denver, that when I was looking at bikes, didn't offer me, didn't offer me the opportunity to ride any of the bikes I was interested in, which I thought was interesting. However, that being said, the corporate groups, they when they show up with that big truck, and currently now because they're 120 years, it says 120 year, 120 on the side for 120 years of Harley Davidson. They pretty much have every model of Harley Davidson, including the most expensive CVO models. And they really encourage you to ride every model. Now I've gone to a couple of different demo events and so there pretty much isn't a Harley I don't think I've ridden at this point because their demo events are so awesome. And so at the first one I went to, they had a map, a course map, where you could kind of ride through Southern Colorado. And it was really nice actually, backcountry roads, no stoplights. Once you had done the course once and they knew you knew the route, then they were pretty much like, go, have fun. Um, and so you didn't have to follow anybody. The Another event that I went to, it was kind of followed. So you kind of had to follow a, a, a volunteer or, or employee of the dealer. You had to follow them on the guided loop. But the thing was, is after riding motors, you know, a bunch of different Harleys for three or four, you know, two to three hours, they came back and I'm like, ah, you know, I, thank you so much for the opportunity. It was awesome. I've ridden so many bikes. And at, at every event, they're always like, shouldn't you ride another one? Like, are you sure you got everything? And even so much so that like the huge Ultra Glide, Road Glide, like limited with the big tour pack on the back, the really big, like super heavy, all the wind fairings, heavy bike, I'm not super interested in. But... They're like, take that one out at least. You haven't ridden that one. Just see what it's like. And actually, it was a great experience. A bike I totally wasn't interested in, but when I got it out on the highway, you're like, wow, this is like a true road sofa. You know, like I could just ride for days on this thing. And the cool thing is they also let you ride the CVO models. The CVO models, if you're not familiar with Harley Davidson, is like their top of the line build. And they, they generally have both of them, the CVO Street Glide and the CVO Road Glide. And they encourage you to ride both of them which I think is really, really cool. Like even the most expensive, the $50,000, $60,000 Harley Davidson, which is a lot of money for a motorcycle, they encourage you to go out and ride. And even at one event, somebody had wrecked 
one of the CBO street glides, I think it was. They had parked, dropped a phone, and then the bike fell over and it jacked the whole thing up. And yeah, the corporate guy was like, yeah, it happens, you know, we'll get it fixed or whatever and we'll, we'll get another one out. But I just think this is something that they do so, so well. And as a new rider, I think if you're like me, again, I'm te- relating this back to me, this is my, from my perspective, okay? Because it's my channel. But if you're like me, you have FOMO, right? Fear of missing out. And you always think, man, maybe there's another bike that I might like a little bit better. And so you're always wondering, did I get the right bike? With Harley, you don't have to worry about that because they will let you ride anything and everything. And so you can really take care. And especially for me, that FOMO, that fear of missing out that maybe I didn't quite get the right bike. And so for me, as we're sitting here on the original adventure bike, the Harley Davidson Road King, it really confirmed for me that this is my favorite Harley Davidson. Having pretty much ridden everything, I think if I was going to get another Harley, it would probably be the Lowrider ST as opposed to the Road King. But that's the only other bike that I really, really am interested in over the Road King as far as it handles and everything like that. So with that being said, what are your thoughts? Do you think Harley does the best demo days of any other manufacturer? And I say this because I've done Triumph and I've done Yamaha, but I haven't been to a Kawasaki, I haven't been to a Kawasaki demo day and I haven't been to, what else is there? Suzuki, Honda, you name it, Ducati. I will say the local Triumph dealer here on the Western Slope of Colorado, shout out to them, All Train Motorsports. Those guys are super cool. They pretty much let me ride anything and anything I was interested in riding. Um, And even so much so I was like really interested in another bike and they let me take it out multiple times to really make sure I was making the right decision. And it was great because I ended up not liking that bike after a couple of rides. And so it was, you know, really helped me make that an informed, educated decision. So I say that from a corporate perspective because Yamaha was not that great. Uh, Triumph was pretty cool. They were pretty much allow you to ride everything. They just had a very limited selection. So I think that's where Harley stands out. They have every bike and they're pretty much like, if it's here, take it out, ride it. That's what it's here for. So if you've made it this far, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the like button, leave a comment below. And until next time, stay safe out there.